do body weight workouts work do they help grow your glutes do they help find the best drink or the best the best weight loss smoothie you're barely even drinking water babe you don't even drink water let me get a side of wings with that like you've never stuck to a program and completed it that's not good for the goals that you have Baby, that's not good. The problem was never the pizza. It was never the pizza. I know I might come for a couple of y'all, but it, I had, it, the truth has to be told. Mm -hmm. One, and if you have a trainer mm -hmm. that says to you, you gotta do, please, uh, I wanna let you know right now. Saying like, your craving is not the enemy. The triggers may be the people that you hang around, right? But uh, Friday, they're like, oh, are we drinking, guys? All the exercises are keeping you from seeing results in the gym. Like, how are we having a conversation about what is the best cardio when no one is doing the cardio? Because uh, for a lot of us, we're not even putting in four weeks of work. The one that you bought in said, oh, this is my 2 liter, 3 liter bottle, I'm going to be drinking water. When last did you see that bottle? You have a whole stack of them in the kitchen. A whole stack. Some of them you don't even remember where they are. Because I'm not going to tell you that you having pizza back to back from Friday to Sunday isn't going to do anything to your goals. It may. You know those exercises that you do where you go from a pull up, a push up, to a lunge, to a burpee, to a squat, to back to a pull up and then come back all the way down, bounce the ball, then land back into a push up and then land into a squat and then split in the air and then, and then, and then that's one, that's one rep. You know those exercises? Uh, I'm here to tell you. Okay, hi my darlings, hi guys, I hope you guys are doing good. We're gonna jump straight into the video. So we're gonna get into five unpopular opinions, five tips, five things that I wish I knew sooner. And of course, I'm gonna be answering questions that you guys have frequently asked. As we do that, I'm gonna be doing something to this hair, which I literally just threw on right now. Uh, I'm melting the lace, I'm sure you can cut. This band is not the cleanest chair, but it's gonna to have to work. So we're gonna get into the tips, and I think we're starting off very hot because this is a, a frequently asked question on any platform on any on any page do body weight workouts work is it worth doing them do they grow your glutes do they help you build muscle can you lose weight from body weight workouts should i show you guys my makeup stuff i don't think you guys care about that but this is a maybelline fit me um spf 20 hydrating primer yes okay so first thing that i'm um i'm gonna be obviously i'm gonna be looking that way because my mirror is that way body weight workouts do work they do anything that challenges your muscles resistance can stimulate some kind of growth can stimulate growth and which is why body weight workouts can work and can help you uh, build muscle this can be done through progressive overload so what is progressive overload that's basically gradually increasing the difficulty of your exercises which helps stimulate growth but the thing here is without progressive overload, overload without consistency without your nutrition being in check and suited to what your goals are you're not going to see any kind of growth from those exercises so you have to take a look at yourself to say with the limitations that are there when it comes to body weight body weight exercises am i able to overcome those limitations or is that something that's going to be difficult for me so when we talk limitations i'm talking things such as most of your body weight exercises may not allow for a full range of motion when doing an exercise and that too can be a limitation you also have that variety is lacking because there's only so much that you can do body weight exercises become repetitive you do some of the same things the same things the pull up the push up the squat the lunge like there are variations but there's only so much of variations that you can do with just your body weight so if you're someone that cannot maintain consistency with the lack of variety yeah i got it i got it with the lack of variability you're gonna struggle because you're gonna start to feel bored it's like oh you know what i'm saying and then what happens then your consistency lacks and you're no longer as consistent and what happens when you don't be consistent you're not gonna see the results so body weight exercises do work but there are limitations if you're able to overcome those limitations then you have no problem so if if you don't care for variety um if you um know how to progressive overload as well as you know how to um push your muscles to the extent that they are stimulated to grow in terms of your um, your exercises, the chosen exercises, range of motion and things like that, the chosen pro method of progressive overload, then you can build the glutes. But if you lack in those things and you also lack in consistency, you're not going to see any results from body weight exercises. Don't be discouraged if that's your only option. It is better than doing nothing. Like any exercise that you can do is better than doing nothing. 
So don't see it as, oh, because I cannot make it, I, I, do, not, I do not have access to a gym, then that means that I'm not going to start anything because if I did body weight exercises, it would be pointless. It won't be pointless. Your growth may not be, if you're not... If you're not able to overcome those limitations, it not be as quick as somebody else who um, is at the gym and they are able to progress overload every week and all of that stuff. But it still is growth, so it is worth doing. And also, uh, you're able to build a lot more on strength, uh, I think, with body weight exercises. But for me, for example, I know myself. So I know myself to be the kind of person that I struggle, like, I get bored, you know. I do some of the same exercises all the time, but... Um, you know, like having options is something that's important to me. Having choice is something that's important to me. In terms of today, I might, and that does not mean switching up my exercises. What that simply means is that me doing a a different variation of an RDL, you know what I'm saying, would 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 help me. Would help you know having an option to do a different variation of an RDL that I'm not doing some of the same things every single week. So if that's something that's of importance to you, then. I would recommend that with body weight exercises, you know what I'm saying, you want to take a look at it and be like, mm, you know, it might be a little tricky, you know what I'm saying, but it is not impossible. It can be done, but you have to take a look at yourself and be honest with yourself. Are you the kind of girly that's like, you know what I'm saying, I got it on lock, you know what I'm saying, every day on the side of my bed there, I'm going to go do my push-ups, do my squats, do my lunges, you know what I'm saying. If you're that girl, then please, by all means, you've got this. But if you know that, oh, I'm not really built like that, like that. I don't really, you know, like, uh, you know, I struggle with that. And I like the gym environment, like me, I prefer the gym environment because even that gets me to work sometimes. Sometimes it's not even the workout that does it for me. It's just simply being around people that are working out that pushes me to get my work in. And also it allows for me to learn more. So body weight exercises do work, but it's just the kind of thing whereby you have to understand what comes with that and what limitations. As well as, especially with body weight exercises, most times if you're working out at home, you probably don't have a, some kind of guidance or someone to kind of walk you through things, uh, unless maybe you can get that from online, which it is possible to get that online. So I think it's all up to you, what's accessible to you, but some kind of exercise is better than no exercise. You know what I'm saying? So going into the second one, I know. I know I might come for a couple of y'all, but it, I ha the truth has to be told. So your exercises, you know those exercises that you do where you go from a pull-up, a push-up, to a lunge, to a burpee, to a squat, to back to a pull-up and then come back all the way down, bounce the ball, then land back into a push-up and then land into a squat and then split in the air and then, and then, and then that's one, that's one rep. You know those exercises? Uh, I'm here to tell you right now. Those exercises are keeping you from seeing results in the gym. Why is that? Those exercises work for particular purposes or reasons or they, 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 however, for you to be able to see growth from those kind of exercises will be very difficult. Combining multiple exercises into one is less effective than people make it to seem because not only do you have less focus, because think about it, if you're doing performing an exercise and I have to think, oh, I got to get my form right for the squat, I got to get my form right for the lunge, or oh, as I'm doing the lunge, I need to think I'm about to launch up into the air, so I need to prepare myself, I need to, and then as I come up, I need to make sure that I land properly because I might, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have one reduced focus because you're trying to focus on 10 different things. I promise you, doing the squat, like the normal squat, like just grab the back squat, just grab the, the, the what's it called? Um, you know what I'm saying? Just grab your dumbbells, just grab your barbell and do a normal squat will get you results. It doesn't have, and also that's another thing that people want to complicate it and make fitness this, all of that. It's like you put so much into this that you don't actually get to doing what actually works, the simple things, and you complicate it so much. And then when you don't see results from those millions of things, not only does it suck because you're not seeing results, and not only that, you're feeling tired, you're exhausted because you're trying to do a million things at once. It is not beneficial to your goals at all. Like, it's not. And so people like to do those because it makes you seem cool, right? I wrote my notes down here, so I'm going to read from here. You may not be able to focus properly on each individual movement, potentially leading to poor form and reduced effectiveness. So if your form is crappy for an exercise, um, the chances of you seeing progress from it are very slim. And so if your form, if you're having to focus on 10 different exercises at once, 
you know what I'm saying? The chances of your form being crappy for at least one, two, three, four, even all ten of them are very high. And so it's like, why do we have to go all that way when you can just do the simple thing and get the result? And not only that, there is also diminished intensity, right? Because as you, when you combine those exercises, it can reduce the, in the intensity of each individual movement because if you think about it as you do a push-up as you're thinking okay I'm standing up and then I'm doing the pull-up you have to compromise on depth you have to compromise on range of motion you have to like you're no longer doing the full lunge to the full uh, depth that you were supposed to do it now you're doing half a lunge then because I have to think I need to come back up to for the squat it was like why do that to yourself <laughs> like who told us that that gets us results who hasn't got a results like actual body and scientifically which i think would be the best way for us to base all of this it does not build it does not stimulate muscle growth at the rate that most people or a normal person would want it to but there's also a huge risk of injury right because you're trying to do 10 million things you can only focus on one thing at a time so think about it like if you're doing all these mil all millions of these things your focus is split into all these things and also you're trying to maintain intensity also i'm trying to figure oh i have to remember what to remember my own i'm on six six the month i'm on the sixth rep okay how many reps do i have okay, okay eight. like you're doing all these things the chances of you injuring yourself come on now you know what i'm saying and it's like it's so it's not a need like you don't need to do that like you don't need to put yourself through that it does not it is not the better way to build muscle it is not the quicker way to build muscle as people like to sell it on instagram you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because that's how they sell it. They say they want to build muscle, you know, do these exercises. Like, keep it simple. Just do a lunge. I promise you, just do a lunge. Just do the static lunge. Just do a squat. You know, just do a pull up, do a push up. That, the simple movements do it. So, when you see someone, and if you have a trainer mm -hmm, that says to you, you got to do, please, uh, I want to let you know right now, from woman to woman, man to woman, run the opposite way because that is not doing what you think it is if your goal is building muscle it's not so yeah we're gonna move on to the third tip okay let's go into the third tip which is one that i see a lot of people who are beginners in the gym struggle with so you've got a workout plan that you're doing right you've got a workout plan okay cool i've got some kind of a plan good stuff you get into the gym you see other people working out suddenly you feel like oh I see somebody else, I see, okay, her glutes are giving everything that I'm trying to give, you know what I'm saying? Her glutes are giving, mm -hmm, you know what I'm saying? That's my goal. And then what then happens is you think, oh, what I'm doing probably isn't working because I see somebody else doing something different. And I think, oh, let me do what she's doing. And it's like you don't give your program, your plan, an opportunity to even give you any result because before it even gets to that, you want to switch things up. You want to try something new and it's like you're like constantly and we spoke about this in the last video but constantly seeking out the perfect plan the perfect way to grow your glutes the perfect way to build to get abs the perfect way to lose weight it's like you're looking for perfect 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 but you're not doing any work babe you're not doing any work like you're not doing any because every time you start something you stop and it's like oh i gotta find no and you, you think that oh what i'm doing isn't working you would be better off doing something Sticking with it for a couple of months, see what results it gives you and what that does for you, and then build from there. But the thing where you start something, you stop, you do it, you start, you stop, you do, and it's like you never actually follow a plan consistently enough to actually start to see progress from it or result from it. Keeps you from seeing any kind of result, any kind of growth, any kind of uh, gains because the thing that gives us gains is consistent. The thing that gives you result is consistency, right? But consistency doesn't work if you're doing random workouts because that's what it is. It seems like, oh, I'm on that other program, but I didn't really finish it. I know it was an eight-week program. I'm speaking to those that are, yeah, you know, saying hit. And also because you guys will be able to work out with me soon. I'm so excited. I'm so, because it is freaking long overdue. I know we've been talking about it for how many years? Two years straight. And finally going to be able to train with you guys. Be your PT, be your personal trainer that's going to give you the real tea and not sugarcoat it because one thing about it, we're getting you those results whether you like it or not. Okay, yeah. Anyways, I was saying to you to say, so if you, you are on that eight-week program, you're on that eight-week plan, but you feel as though, like, you don't complete things, 
you don't complete things. The minute something starts to get a little, or the minute you start to see somebody else do something different, you think that what you're doing isn't working. So I gotta change it up. I gotta switch it up. And it's like you all you're doing is doing random workouts. Like you've never stuck to a program and completed it. That's not good. For the goals that you have, baby, that's not good. You know, you know what I'm saying? If you're saying you want to lose the weight, but you're not really, and that applies also to your eating. Picking up random diets, you pick up this diet, you pick up that diet, you pick up this diet, and you're always find, trying to find the right diet. And it's like, just eat. Just eat. Focus on eating balanced, you know, nourishing your body, eating foods that build your... Focus on that. And I promise you, the results that you will see by having somewhat of a consistent way of eating in a, a balanced approach, then trying to find the perfect diet... Instead of us trying to focus on finding the perfect plan, the perfect this, perfect that, you get into the gym, you see somebody else doing a different workout, you just feel like, oh, I need to stop mine, I need to stop my plan and, and do what they're doing because, you know what I'm saying, they seem like they know what they're doing. You never know, you're never going to know if, you, if what you're doing works if you never actually commit to a plan and complete it. And four weeks isn't enough. Because uh, for a lot of us, one of them putting in four weeks of work. Yeah, like for a lot of us with these plans, with these programs, with these challenges, we're not putting four weeks. Maybe you're putting about three and a half, or you're probably, probably putting about two and a half because maybe you skipped a couple more days. You know what I'm saying? So if you find yourself being that kind of person, you struggle with consistency, that should let you know that, okay, so I'm not seeing result because I don't stick with things. So let's work on that. Let's find something and stick with it. And you're not going to start with a 10 week program, you're going to start with four weeks. Let's do something for four weeks and be consistent in that and see what that leads to. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm going to use this because I dropped my, my, um, uh, I dropped my sponge under my bed and I'm so lazy to pick it up. So the only way we're seeing results is if we are consistent with what uh, we're supposed to be doing. You're not seeing any results when you're picking up random workouts every two weeks. It's not gonna work, babe. It's not gonna cut it. Find something, stick with it, do the work, be consistent, and then you're gonna start to see result. okay? Yeah, let's get into the next tip. The sun is leaving me, guys. We gotta hurry up. So the next tip uh, that I'm gonna give to you is something that is very underrated. A lot of us overlook this and we think, oh, I gotta, I gotta do this and I gotta do that. And I'm just here to, Put that all to put all of that. Oh, he's good looking. I'm joking. Sorry, I just stick in something else. Sorry. sorry. Uh. <laughs> One thing that works and works for good, not just works for today, will always be doing the simple stuff. So that thing that you're doing where you don't want to drink water, you don't drink water. You know what I'm saying? You know that bottle that you bought. Remember the one that you bought and said, "Oh, this is my two liter, three liter bottle. I'm going to be drinking water," and when last did you see that bottle? You have a whole stack of them in the kitchen. A whole stack. Some of them you don't even remember where they are. Babe, what's happening? And it's like we prioritize the things that don't matter. We prioritize, um, um, I need to find the perfect drink. I need to find the perfect food. I need to find the perfect pre-workout. I need to find the perfect lunch chock protein bar. I need to find the perfect meal plan. I need to find the perfect where, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that's the, like the least, that should be the least of your worries because that doesn't get you results. Doing something consistently, balanced approach gets you results. So it's like, you want to find the best drink or the best, the best weight loss smoothie. You're barely even drinking water, babe. You don't even drink water before we even get to the smoothie. Like you just don't, you don't even drink water. It's like most of your problems and a lot of your questions would be answered if you just did the basic things. That's the drinking water. If you really just focus on, oh, let me focus on balanced eating. You know what I'm saying? Getting in my nutrition, getting in my, uh, my, my, my carbs, getting in my protein, getting in uh, my vegetables and all. If you just prioritize the, the simple things, that will solve 80% of your problems. And it's because for us, we want to find the, the, the best thing, the, the best, the perfect this. And it's like, we skip the, the basics. No, the basics aren't good enough for me. And it's like, how do you get to improving something you don't even have a foundation of? Your foundation being that you don't even know how to eat. 
your foundation being that you don't even get your meals in your foundation being that your idea of weight loss means i starve myself you know what i'm saying like where we're starting from is already from a place of oh we don't really understand what it is that really gets us results which is consistency and focusing on balance so it's like we want to find these the the, the 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 perfect juice the weight loss thing the weight loss food the this and that and it's like we get so invested in all these things that we lose sight of the fact that what works and what will always work above anything that anyone could ever sell or package to you will be focusing on the very simple things. What to eat, drink your water, sleep, rest, exercise, you know what I'm saying? Like the basic things. And that's what everything else is just an added, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's just another, you know, oh yeah, 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 you should do this. But it's like, it's the same thing that people, when people argue to say, oh, the Stairmaster is going to get you you know, better uh, weight loss results because it's like this and it's like this. And you're speaking to people that don't even do cardio. Like, how are we having a conversation about what is the best cardio when no one is doing the cardio? And when I say no one, I include myself in that, guys. I know, I know, I know. But this year I improved. This year I said I'm not doing that. If you're on the 2024 20, Applied pressure, pressure Challenge, then you know we're not paying about that cardio. And no one think about the results they've been giving. Go look at the testimonials, the reviews, and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Everything's looking good. And that proves to you that the simple things do it. You don't need to complicate it. It's not about the perfect drink. It's not about the perfect cardio, which would be the best. The cardio, the best cardio for you to do would be the one that you're not doing. Because you aren't even doing cardio. So, so it's not, let me find the best one for my weight loss. Let's just do any, let's just do cardio. Get on a bike, find a, a, a jump rope. You know what I'm saying? Find a jump rope, get on a bike, go on to the treadmill, what's available? It's like, oh, today I can't do cardio because all oh, the scale masters were gone. There is no perfect thing. Like, there's no... You understand what I'm saying? Like, simplify your journey for yourself. Because if you quickly make it complicated, you're going to find that you find difficulty, even in the smallest of things. Things that are supposed to be basic become so complicated for you. Because you think that the best thing, the best, the perfect this, then the perfect that is what somebody else is doing, not what you already have access to. So it's like, oh, because if, if I don't have a gym, um, I think that, oh, I can make the excuse of, oh, I'm not seeing results because I don't have a gym. And it's like, with what you have right now, there is so much that you could do that could give you some results, some, you know what I'm saying? But it's because we spend so much time trying to find the best of this and the best of that, not realizing that there really isn't any best of anything. You just have to do the things. And then when you get to a later stage, then even people who have been training for years and years and years do the simple movements. You don't see them flying across the gym. The people that have like actual results, they do the simple things. Like you see them doing a simple lunge. Yeah, it's probably holding 50 kgs on each arm, but it's the simple things that get it. So it's not the, oh, let me find a new variation of this. And it's like, the simple things are going to do it every single time. So you need to start drinking water, essentially is what I'm saying to you. You need to start drinking your water, the basics. You want to go, you want to get on that weight loss, let's start taking a couple of walks. You know what I'm saying? Let's take some walks, let's do some runs, let's do some jogging, go, oh, I can't go outside because it's not, let's treadmill. You know, I don't have treadmills, but I know I have space at home, let's use home space. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't complicate the journey for yourself in places where it's not supposed to be complicated because you just make it that much harder for yourself. I put some, um, some baking, whatever, on my, um, on my eyebrows. That's not, that wasn't the plan. But I'm not going to bake, I'm just going to dust it off now because, yeah, I'm just going to dust it off. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so 80% of your problems would be solved if you just focus on doing the things that matter, which are the simple things, which are the basics. That's what you need. Not the perfect plan, not who's the best or this, or what's the best form of cardio that I could possibly do, what's the best food, what's the best meal plan. That I... The simple things, what's already available to you. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to help. I'm trying to, I know, I know. And this is all coming from a place of love because I want to see you guys win. And I don't want you to see, to keep having the same goals every single year. Like every year that begins, you have the same goal of losing this and gaining that. And it's like, no, come on now. You know, it's been five years with the same goal. We got to, you know, we got to see some progress happening. Oh, my favorite, cravings. Yeah, yeah, I want to talk about that one, cravings, because, because the girlies, you know what I'm saying? Cravings is a big one with us. 
cravings is a big one with us and dealing with cravings so i want to speak on that the question would be how to handle how to handle cravings and and uh, uh if you're someone that struggles with handling your cravings the first thing that i'm going to say is this for you to be able to handle your cravings it's going to be very difficult to handle your cravings if you just don't even have a way of eating you understand what i'm saying so you can't recognize what is a craving and what is you know what i'm saying like what is a craving and what is i just don't know how to eat so i just you know what i'm saying like so if you're the kind of person that your, your, your eating is constantly snacking you constantly snacking on things you snack on that you snack on this and so you always like you don't have meals breakfast lunch and dinner your li your eating is literally just snacking you finding foods to snack on it's going to be difficult for you to be able to identify what is a craving and how to handle the craving so you know that time of the month right okay we time of the month you know what i'm saying it'd be difficult you know what i'm saying it's feeling like mm. <laughs> You know, the girl be doing whatever she's doing and it's like, right now I'm not trying to hear from anybody, I'm going to have that pizza. The problem isn't you having that pizza. That's what I want you to understand. The problem was never the pizza. It was never the pizza. The problem was you don't know how to push and control. So you think, oh, if I crave the pizza, let me get a side of wings with that. That's okay. Get a couple of wings. Okay. But you want to go through the whole pizza box in one sitting. Okay. Which can be fine, but if you're doing that consistently every single weekend, honey, it, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it and, you, and for a lot of people, some people are able to do that, by the way, right? Because genes also play a role. Some people are able to eat any and everything and all of that, and their metabolism allows them to not put on um, weight as you do. But you got to take a look at what, what, what does that look like for me? Am I able to do that? No. Okay, so you don't want to, this isn't a thing where it's like you look at it and say, oh, I can't eat this, I can't eat that, because, you know, the more you tell yourself that you don't want something, the more you're going to want it, you know what I'm saying, the more you're like, oh, I can't have this, and all of that, the more you're going to think, oh, but it's just, uh, maybe, maybe let me just get one, let me just get, and what then happens is, that Friday night, you have the pizza, and then it feels, and you have the entire box, and it's like, ah, oh, I've already ruined my entire plan. I might as well just go. Then it's like Saturday, and then it's like, oh, on top of the pizza, it's like ice cream, then it's like caves, and this and that. And it's like, on top of the, what you're ready, because you feel as though, oh, I had that pizza and I did what I, um, because it's guilt, right? Now you're feeling guilty. And then it's like, oh, I might as well eat any and everything. And it's like, no. That's what's killing you. It isn't the fact that you had the pizza. It's the fact that after you have the pizza, you think, I've ruined what I've, I've been doing, so now I have an excuse to, ah, oh, let's screw it all, let's have the pizza and anything else that I desire. And it's like, also understand that when you're someone who has made a habit of weekends are uh, equals anything that I want to eat, you're going to struggle. Balance isn't five days of the week I'm eating clean and all of that. And also, that's another thing to say. If you look at your, your five days of the weekend, it's like, I cannot eat donuts, I cannot touch donuts and all that. And you see your you can very well like be doing all the things and finding that what you're eating on the weekends is killing all your progress yeah because it's consistently it consistently every weekend you use it as i can drink as much as i like i can eat as much as i like and that's okay you know what i'm saying people should do what they want but also be okay with the 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 the, the what's it called the, the 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 circumstance that comes with that you know what i'm saying with the, 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 the with that choice you got to be comfortable with what comes with that you know so you have to be aware of the fact that your craving isn't something you need to run away from. Your craving is not the bad thing. Your craving is something that everybody has a craving at some point, some kind of craving. But what we then do with those cravings is we take a look at the cravings to say, okay, understand this. Think of when you have a craving, ask yourself, am I dehydrated? Let me have a glass of water first and see how I feel after that, right? If, if I'm having a craving, did I eat today? No, I, haven't, I actually haven't had anything to eat. Let me eat first. And then if I still want that, 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 that cake, then I'm going to get it. But let me have a meal first. And so for some of us, we think we're craving things simply because you're not eating. You're not eating. So because you're not, like, you're not even giving your body anything. And it, 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 masks, it masks itself as a craving when really it is hunger. You're hungry. And so knowing how to figure that out within your body will come from you having somewhat of a balanced approach in terms of how you take a look at how you eat, in terms of how you look at food, how you view your food and all of that. I feel like I've just been applying contour for like the longest time and it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you understand what I'm saying? Like your craving is not the enemy. What you do with that craving and how you follow up with everything else that happens after that is 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 what um is what the difficulty is and i think it's also important that you identify what are my triggers right i see that every time on fridays i start to think that like every time friday hits for me that communicates it's time to drink you know as much as i would like to 
you know I go through three bottles of wine in one day you know so you, you have to identify what your triggers are what are your triggers what triggers you into that place oh sometimes for some people it's loneliness you get lonely on the weekend because you don't have anything going on for you uh, on the weekend then you think oh that means I need to eat as much as I can or I'm craving this and you want to stuff yourself to kind of fill that void you understand what I'm it's like you gotta you have to identify what are my triggers finding alternatives okay to foods that you can eat sometimes finding alternatives will help you because I'm not going to tell you that you having pizza back to back from Friday to Sunday isn't going to do anything to your goals in May. So finding alternatives, right? Oh, I really wanted ice cream today. Let me have some Greek yogurt, you know what I'm saying, and see how that, that makes me feel, you know. And if you then decide to still have the, 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 the ice cream after that, you decide, actually, I still want that thing, then go ahead and but have it without the feeling of guilt. You don't feel that guilt when you have learned to focus on balance. Because when you when you have learned to focus on balance, you're not gonna. It's not a. It's not an exchange. Oh, I have to eat clean so I can earn this thing. You understand what I'm saying? So when you find alternatives, find alternatives. Identify your triggers. Um, focus on a balanced uh, eating balanced eating habits. That will solve a lot of your problems when it comes to your um, cravings. And also not being hard on yourself, like. Understand that this journey isn't something that that you just have to get once and it's like linear and you never struggle like even the people who have it figured out still have parts of their journey that they still need to figure out sometimes they fall back and all of that and but you have to realize that that those those parts those dips in your journey are what makes the journey you know what I'm saying don't take them as oh I failed so now I'm just gonna throw in the towel and do anything that I want to because I keep failing because what keeps you failing isn't because you fell that one time what keeps you failing is because you fall or you fall that one time then you take it I have to start over that reset thing to say oh now I need to do a detox you won't need to do, do no detox if you just learned how to eat well for your body you won't need because you don't view food as something that you need to earn or as something that you know you can't have unless you do a b c and d and all of that and also i just want to point the fact that this isn't something that is easy so as i speak to you like this i'm not saying that it is any in any shape or form easy it is difficult because anything that comes to do with the body it is, is it's not easy and we're trying to build habits but the best time for you to start on building that habit would be today. And I'm not guaranteeing that, oh, from today on, you're never going to fall, you're never going to trip, you're never going to have a setback. It's going to happen. It's what makes the journey. But what the beautiful part is when you do have those setbacks, you spend less time feeling guilty about your setback and feeling like, oh, I don't have the... You spend, you spend less time feeling guilty about your setback and then sitting and then thinking, okay, now I've got to eat everything. Now I've got to, you know what I'm saying, cater to my feelings and, you know, go through this, this and that. Simply because you're someone that understands that this is a journey and it's not going to be linear and I afford myself that grace. You understand what I'm saying? So afford yourself grace, but also I just know when it is I'm supposed to afford myself grace and where I just lack discipline. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta be honest with yourself. Pay attention to your patterns and let that be what guides you. Okay, I'm gonna do the lips now. Let me zoom in. This is literally concealer and I'm gonna do my lips now. So I gotta shut up because if I speak Yeah, so when you, you have to remember to be kind to yourself and you have to remember that your body isn't some, like it's not, you know, it's with you all the time. Pay attention to the patterns and work around it. If every single time I get on my period, I know that I start to crave this particular food, I'm going to give myself that food. So I'm saying like afford yourself grace, but also understand when to afford yourself grace and when to exercise a little bit more discipline. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you have somewhere where you want to be, you have goals, right? So let's, let's, let's work like we've got goals. Let's move like we've got those goals. And it doesn't mean that consistency isn't built off of doing everything right, getting it right every single time. No, it isn't. It is sometimes you're not going to get it right. Sometimes you're going to fall, you're going to this. That's what makes the journey. That's what builds. I just keep dropping everything. That's what makes the journey, you know. So I think most importantly, before we end this um, 
if you are in the video. I really want to emphasize the point that this is not a one-size-fits-all. Fitness isn't a one-size-fits-all. Because anything that has to do with bodies can never be a one-size-fits-all because no two people look the same. Oh, let me show you guys what I used. Um, this is the lip gloss that I used. This is the Maybelline um, Lifter Gloss in the shade Stone. In the shade Stone. And then my lip gloss, I'm going to do a lip oil. And this is the Dior um, Lip Oil, Lip Glow Oil in Cherry Oil. So in, in, in the flavor chain. So you've got to pay attention to, um, you have to understand that this isn't a one size fits all. So the more you look at your journey and compare yourself with the next person, you compare it with me, you compare it with whoever you see on social media, you're always going to feel dissatisfied with your journey or like you're not doing the right things. And I want you to prioritize more you just doing something over doing what would be the right thing because you trying to find what's the perfect thing or the right way to go about things is what's keeping you from seeing any kind of result because you're not really doing anything at the end of the day you understand what i'm saying so it's important for you to understand that it's not a one size fits all there's a lot of learning if even people that have been in this game for for years are still learning you know and so you never stop learning and I think also just want to speak to gym anxiety because I got a question about that a few weeks ago. And I just want to say that if you're someone that struggles with gym anxiety, I don't only want to say like nobody cares in the gym or whatever, but when you have a plan, like prepare yourself. When you have a plan and you kind of know what you're there to do, you know what I'm saying, you have your things set, uh, like planned out, it becomes a lot easier for you to get in there and do what you are there to do. You know, if it takes you having a gym partner, grab someone and have them go with you if that's what it's going to take. But you got to do the things that help you to actually start to do that work towards your goal. You know? uh, also, which reminds me, guys, I'm going to put through um, the programs on the website on sale um, right before the launch of the launch of. I'm gonna be training you oh I'm so excited and I actually even spoke to the team and I said I have to be able to speak to these girls like I need a you know I'm saying like I want to be taking calls with you guys I want to I don't want to like just create a program and throw it at you and then you know figure it out and all of that I do want to have conversations with you I want to help you I want to talk to you I want to see where we are having problems what do we need to tweak so that we have a better experience and even better results you know what I'm saying so I'm really excited. It's going to be launching in July, so be on the lookout. I'm going to post every about it, so you're not going to miss it. But you got to get on that ASAP because there are limited spots at the very beginning. So, you know, we got to get into it. But I cannot believe that that is my life. I'm so excited, guys. So if you struggle with gym anxiety from next month, July, I'm going to be available to be with you in that gym to give you a program that's going to literally walk you through what you need to do, okay? Because I got you like that, you know what I'm saying? So, we don't want to be, that's, that's, that doesn't have to, that has to be a thing of the past. And it's and, and what is most important is for us to be able to work through that, because at the end of the day, I need you to know that the gym is a space for you, just as much as it's a space, it's a space for all those people that you look at in the gym and you see them and you're like, ah, oh, you know, they gym, you know, they look fit and all of that. I need you to take up space and know that that gym needs you in there. So I need you to, you know, lock into that. I'm going to do setting spray. This is the setting spray. Period. So I really want to encourage you in your fitness journey. I really want you to learn how to prioritize the things that matter the most. Don't let people sell you lies and complicated stuff and sell you things that only complicate your journey and make it that much harder. There is a simple way to go about it. And I speak on the simple way and I provide the simple way. So around here, balance is the big goal. 
a lot here the goal is balance and I also want to take I want you to take care of your self not only for the goals that you have in terms of growing foods and all of that but I want you to take care of yourself even on the inside because it is much more important than anything else for you to be able to be healthy on the inside taking care of your body being active walking around you know what I'm saying having being able to run around you know your knees your knee health your joints health and all of that stuff is so important so I'm gonna love and leave you guys here um let's let me take off the and see because i didn't spritz this guys so it may not look oh it may not look i just see i didn't add baby hairs as you can see they're like here i wanted to cancel out the like i have a bit of a let's see if i did like a side parting Oh, okay. If I did like... This is a closure wig, by the way, guys. I want to like define it, but just like... There's so much hair on my face. Oh my gosh. What is that? Okay. So the most important thing is I want you to take care of yourself. I want you to prioritize your fitness journey and know that it is a journey. So it's not going to be linear. There's going to be so many things to learn along the way, but you need to be laughing. I need you to have some joy in that. You know what I'm saying? I need you to, because otherwise this will suck. And you got to stop thinking that every single time you have a little bit of a setback, you have to restart your journey. No because that's what's keeping you from actually seeing progress because every single time you have a little bit like life life will always happen like life does not stop happening so that i can finally fit, focus on my fitness goals do you understand like so is it, it, it isn't a thing where it's like life is going to stop and then it's like oh now i finally have time to work out no it's like i gotta make that time even with what's going on which is why we have so many options of what you can do you don't have to be in the gym for two to three hours literally a mat at home take a walk in your garden or around your room or outside in the yard um you know grab a little mat you know what i'm saying do a couple of exercises maybe three exercises do 10 reps of each um three sets of those and call it a day that is enough it is something and it is okay it, it, like you doing that is much better than you waiting until you have the perfect time the perfect people the perfect equipment the perfect plan the perfect this and the perfect that before you begin to do a work do you understand what i'm saying so let's prioritize the simple things because the simple things get us results right oh uh, it's not uh well i didn't kind of separate it properly but you guys can kind of tell oh I love curly hair. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna. It's a bit mad. I'm gonna end the vlog. I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of fix up my hair and see what I can do to kind of make it look uh, decent. I'm looking a bit yellow. Yeah, because the lighting in here but thank you so much guys for watching i hope this is useful to you let me know down below in the comment section what you found useful what you find found um helping to your journey and um i'm gonna speak to you guys in my next video which is probably gonna be a vlog and hope you guys are enjoying the channel as much as i am because i really am i really am enjoying like talking to you guys and all of that like i genuinely am having so much fun and just having a conversation and doing the vlogs like we're freaking vlogging and yeah life is chef's kiss right now so i'm so glad and i hope you guys have enjoyed these videos and you are enjoying them let me know in the comment section and if you're new here please do subscribe i really appreciate it when you do join the fam uh and my subbies and i'll see you guys in my next video um yeah this is goodbye and don't forget to take don't only take these tips and mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm, and not apply because baby girl this don't mean anything if you don't apply the actual tips okay i will see you guys in my next video Mwah. Love you and bye. I wanna be some man and it won't take us in my baggy. I'm a winner. Do, 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 do. This is. <clears throat> I didn't go through my emails today. I don't know why people like just choose to annoy me. Aww.
This is so nice. That is so nice. Oh, thank you. Wow. Oh, I have the most beautiful family. The most beautiful family. So lovely. Anyways, I'm got. What time is it? I was supposed to go to the mall at eight. Anyways, I'm gonna go. Mom, 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 loads of kisses and hugs and all of that good snuggly stuff. I hope you're getting into your fitness goals. And not just your fitness goals, because I'm here to inspire you beyond fitness. I want you to take care of yourself and look after yourself and to prioritize everything that is your health, that is mental, physical, and everything in between, okay? Yeah, stop, stop dealing with men that are messing up your pH balance. I know you know what I'm talking about. I know you know what I'm talking about. Stop doing all that stuff. You're complaining the diet isn't working. You have been with a couple of people that have never in their life, people who don't even know what drinking water looks like. You know, when you talk drinking water, champagne bottles are put on the table. The only drinking water that they know is after, is when they hung over. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 exactly. Mwah. Goodbye, I love you and I appreciate you and God loves you more than I do. Remember that. Mwah. I can tell you're talking to Steve We should make some time to private